Hello everybody and welcome to my video, first video about my 2D breakout game. As you can see, menus are nothing special, literally up and down, changes the options and then enter to go. And you straight into your breakout game, again pretty basic uh, graphics, just blocks, same colour, nothing special about any of them. Left and right obviously to move the paddle at the bottom and well, I'm guessing you all know how breakout works so I don't need to explain that um, but yeah 100 points every time you get a brick and the score goes up and when you get all the bricks you can move on to the next level which is exactly the same as this level um, 5 lives, I've lost one already which isn't very good but when they are run out you obviously get a game over there you go, level reset, everything resets. So as I said, it is pretty basic, but I was in my first year and it's good enough. Um, the bricks are drawn automatically in a loop, so you don't have to position each brick as you place it. So it's change one value and it'll draw them all in, in their new positions where they need to be. Um, just did that with a nested for loop I believe so it counts out 8 bricks and draws them then it moves on to a new line and draws another 8 bricks so as I said it's all automated you don't have to spend ages positioning each brick yourself uh, pause menu again it's pretty simple up and down changes the option highlighted and then you can continue and it carries on exactly where I left off. There is no difficulty progression or high scores or anything like that. I didn't manage to get that. But if I were to add anything to it, it would definitely be some form of difficulty because this is simple at the start and it stays simple. If I was going to make any changes I would um, make it so you maybe had different blocks that took different numbers of hits to destroy maybe some power ups or power downs to make your paddle grow and shrink that kind of thing um, maybe some more interesting brick layouts as well and I'd also try and make the gameplay a bit more if effective I guess because at the moment whenever the ball hits a, a block or the paddle or any of the sides, it just bounces off at a 90 degree angle to where it hit, which isn't really very interesting. It gives you this exactly the same outcome each time, so you can play through levels and it'll go through exactly the same as long as you hit it every time. So I'd make it so that it would probably still have to bounce off the, the sides, obviously, at the same angle but for the bricks and the paddle I could have several rectangles so that whenever it collided with a different part of the said brick or paddle uh, it would bounce off at a different angle or velocity and it would maybe speed up over time just making it a bit more interesting and a bit more realistic like the actual breakout game. Um, I think that's all I've got to talk about just prove that it does end when you run out of lives and then I think that will be it for my first video so thank you for watching and keep your eye out for more videos coming soon hopefully there you go bye